Yes, yesterday the female MP for Rakai, Juliet Chinyamatama, came out and raised an issue on the floor of parliament saying that the Honorable Member Zake went in, his, in her constituency and made derogatory statements or against her. The speaker referred this to the uh, rules committee. It won't be, be the first time when Honorable Zake is being set in this committee. But in this episode, I've come to look at the reason why the Honorable Member decided to raise this issue, what, how it can affect how Parliament delivers its work, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Rashid Seguja, a political prisoner who has been in cancellation for more than three years. On the 9th of October, one of our members, the Honorable Zake, came to my constituency and used defamatory words against me that I cannot mention here. And I request the ICT department of this parliament to play you the video of the Honorable Member Zake so that you know what happened. That is the woman MP for Raka, Jure Chinya Matama, after her raising the concern in parliament saying that the Honorable Zake went to her uh, constituency and made some defamatory statement. Before I speak on this, let me first give you the video when Honorable Zake was saying this. Here is the tape. <laughs> So that is when Rebozake when he was making those statements. It was a time when uh, the, minister, the Minister of State for Security, David Moses, was going to uh, give out a rebuttal on a request which was made uh, by the opposition requiring an apology from the security agencies in the country until when this woman MP raised this concern. Uh, uh, I think she came after mobilizing fellow members of parliament, mostly women, and they even tried to beat the Honorable Zake. For me, I see two things. First of all, the parliament is trying to degenerate in minor issues. If an, an honorable member has, uh, has an altercation with another member out, outside parliament, it doesn't require parliament intervention to that extent. Parliament can intervene in this issue but on a, an administrative level, not to involve the whole parliament. And, and I'm going to explain this better. There are some members of parliament who are married from within parliament. Just imagine if they fight in their homes and one comes and addresses that on the floor of parliament. Do you see how how parliament can be degenerated? If these statements offended the honorable member, if they were defamatory as indeed she was saying, he ought to have gone to the courts of law, not to parliament. Or she would have come in on the floor of or she would have engaged the parliament on an administrative level. Because Honorable Zake didn't break any law to go in a certain co constituency and decampaign a certain member. It is okay. It is okay. Although the words which were used were strong. 
but it is it is within the law for a, a honorable member to go in any consequence he deems fit to uh, to decampaign a certain member who may not be of his own party okay and for me i wonder how the women members of parliament uh, reach this level of trying to box honorable zake in fact there is the re, the rescue the honorable zake f- from parliament here is the tape uh, if you heard what honorable zake said he attacked the area member of parliament javida who, who is a man he attacked the woman member of parliament the the male member of parliament did not come out raise this issue on the floor of parliament yet the, the female member of parliament is coming out raise those issues i would agree if those things were said on the floor of parliament so that the parliament can engage them on the floor but something said out of parliament on the fellow member must be engaged in ad- administratively what do i mean by engaging it administratively the speaker of parliament can call both parties sit them together and they see how can, how they can engage without involving the whole house so i think the woman member of parliament took it overboard and even the female members of parliament took it overboard most people who come out to regard themselves as feminist they use the blanket of feminist to further their own agenda not uh, agendas of all women at large which blanket is normally used by most women who want to run away from accountability so there is no problem with honorable zake's statement if the honorable member felt that these statements were de- defamatory he ought to have gone to the courts of law so that the courts can decide whether they were defamatory or not but not engaging the whole house to an extent that me- the, uh, the speak of parliament adjourned the house of course that's my opinion you can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video thank you very much for listening in if this is your first time on this youtube channel i implore you to subscribe like and comment so that i can be motivated to do more of such videos peace